What's up guys, CB Moddy here, back with another video, and holidays are over, which sucks. And I'm sure we all want longer holidays, but it is back to class time. So today we're going to be covering some things you may want to pick up when you are heading back to, well, class for your tech devices in 2018. Now, before we do jump any further, no, anything that we do talk about hasn't been sponsored or anything like that. These are things that I personally have picked up for myself for 2018. So I thought, why not share it around with you guys so you can also too get some ideas of what you may want to pick up. Speaking of picking things up, I've also two left links down in that description box if you do like some of the stuff that we do talk about here today. You can also do find them linked down below. And then finally, I'm also too going to make the assumption that you have a computer, you have a laptop and phone and stuff like that, or a computer and a laptop are the same thing. But my point being, laptops, phones and tablets and stuff like that aren't exactly on today's list because I'm going to make the assumption you already have something that you're going to be using. Today, we're more looking at what you can add to them to make your tech experience at school or in class a whole lot better for 2018. So pick up that pen and paper and let's take a look at some things you should pick up for your tech devices in 2018. And first and foremost, the thing that I always come to whenever I do one of these back to school lists is storage. Storage is super important and especially in this tech world, having the correct storage and enough of it is super important. That's where the WD Elements hard drives do usually come in for me. They're pretty cost effective and relatively, well, easy to carry around with you and portable and they do the job not too bad. They're again not too expensive and your external storage options doesn't necessarily have to be an insane RAID SSD setup. A simple two and a half inch mechanical hard drive like this guy is perfect for a lot of students out there and will get you through the year no worries. As you can tell by this box right here, mine is a one terabyte unit and that's really all you need for a single year's work. Now obviously if you're studying something like media, video editing, anything like that really, obviously you'll need more storage, but for most people who are doing just regular classes or studying other things, having one terabyte of storage is generally plenty enough. And whether you're planning to go ahead and store video project files or you just want to have a safe place to back up your work, it is really nice to grab one of these drives. Now I usually recommend grabbing a new one rather than just reusing last year's or even just an old one that you have lying around, mainly because these things when you do throw them in your bag can generally take quite a beating, which means they're more likely to go ahead and fail. So at the start of every year, I go ahead and usually just buy a brand new one and seeing that I've been studying in sort of universities for the past three or so years, I have a whole bunch of them lined up that I do use well from time to time, but mainly at the start of every year, I do also to go ahead and just buy a brand new one again. So I'm not running into the issue of old worn out parts and also to the bumps and knocks that it does take over time. As I did mention, this is the WD Elements drive offering up to one terabytes of storage in my particular unit, but do come in larger sizes and they're really nothing too special, but they do just get the job done. And I do recommend them every single year and they are generally a fairly good purchase, especially with drives coming down in price quite a lot. The next thing that I do always recommend is a good backup solution. Now, yes, we did just go ahead and talk about an external drive right here, which can be used as a backup solution. However, these days teachers are sick of hearing, oh, my laptop died or my emails lost the file somewhere and stuff like that. Having a good backup system is the most important thing you do need. For reference, my backup solution consists of four different backup options from local on-site options to servers, clouds, everything you could possibly imagine I used to back up my work because again I personally can't afford to have work being lost because the backup decided not to work properly or something along those lines. So this is where Backblaze does come in. I've talked about Backblaze quite a bit on the channel and we did a video right there and it is a really awesome service. Coming in at just $5 per month, it really does strike a pretty good balance of offering you unlimited backups without a massive price tag. And if you're willing to sort of pay everything up front for the start of the year, you could even be paying less than $5 a month when it comes to your backup service. Solution. And I have to say, Backblaze is a really awesome option as again, it gives you unlimited backups, but also to on top of that, if your drive does break, so your hard drive goes on your laptop or something like that, they will actually ship you a brand new hard drive with all your data there as if it was your original hard drive or SSD. So what Backblaze is doing is really, really awesome then. You really don't have too much of a worry about losing any files. And if that wasn't good enough for you, you can also to access the files anywhere in the world 
from phones, tablets and other laptops, it is a really flexible service. Now sure you could pick up something like Google Drive, Amazon Drive or OneDrive, but a lot of them do have a data limit on there and they can be a little bit more challenging to use. Don't get me wrong, things like Google Drive also do offer collaboration services, but if you're strictly looking at a computer backup service, Backblaze is something you don't want to go past. Coming in next on our list, we do actually have something that is a little bit different, and that is a decent pair of headphones, and these are these guys, the Sennheiser CX300. The name is a little bit hard to actually get your head around, but we do have a review coming relatively soon of this particular guy, and yes, audio is definitely a very subjective topic, but a pair of these headphones do generally sound a lot better than your stock in-box headphones, and they're actually pretty decent. With decent response across the board from mids, lows, and also to highs, whatever genre of music you do listen to, they're definitely going to do the job not too bad. Again, don't get me wrong, there's definitely a lot more expensive options and a lot of different options out there that could definitely blow these guys away, but for general music listening on the go or listening to while you're studying, a pair of nice headphones is definitely something that I do recommend. Not to mention these guys come in at less than $100 and I've even seen them as low as $50 here during a sale, so uh, their price tag isn't half that bad. Once again, they're not the be all and end all pair of headphones, but they do get the job done. They sound pretty good for a lot of different genres of music. And again, coming in that low price tag, it isn't too bad there. Not to mention Sennheiser is fairly reputable in the audio game as it is. And I guess if that wasn't enough for you, you also do get two years worth of warranty on this guy so if it happens to go bad chuck it back and you get yourself a brand new set so the uh, CX 3.00 or 3.00 is a really nice pair of headphones that I really do like using and personally have been using for a couple months now and I have to say I'm really really impressed and touching on storage for one more time we might as well also to look at USB drives now yes having one of these external drives is really really helpful but let's face it not all of us are going to be carrying around external hard drives and a small USB flash drive is definitely important. So this is where the Samsung flash bar definitely comes in. Now I've covered this guy a couple times including even doing a durability test which should be found up there and it is a really nice drive. It's clean and simple with a loop that could easily hold up a tank, it is really that strong and with reads and rides that are definitely pretty good for a thumb drive, it is definitely not much to dislike about this particular drive. And on top of that it's drop, shock, rain, dirt and not officially but also too it is snowproof Overall, this guy is an absolute beast when it comes to carrying data on the go with you. And having something that is reliable is key when it comes to studying because the last thing you want to do is write up a 10-page essay just to have it lost on that memory stick as you're trying to transfer it over. Sure, having good backups is important, but also to having good storage media is another very important thing. So picking yourself up a relatively durable drive is also too important, but also to keep in mind, don't pick up the most expensive unit. The reason why you don't want to do this is you don't want to become a target now for your drive to be stolen. The last thing you want to do is buy a $300 USB drive that has super fast storage, a ton of storage and is super rugged and then two weeks into class someone's stolen it because it's expensive and looks really really nice. Grabbing something that is a little bit understated and definitely still delivers you performance is where it's at and again that's where the Samsung flash bar definitely comes in. Again I've been running mine for a bit over a year now, closer to a year and a half at this point and it's been an absolute legend of a drive, I've absolutely loved using it and I can definitely recommend it. However with that being said if you are looking at other options try to make sure you buy from manufacturers that also to make flash chips. Unfortunately, USB drives are just known for inherently using not as good grade flash, so trying to buy one from a manufacturer that actually makes the flash inside of these guys is really important. Not a lot of people do know out there, but when it comes to a USB drive, the flash modules inside them are either A, not made by the manufacturer actually making that memory stick, but also to 2, they get the lowest of the lowest grade storage flash. So your SSDs and other storage medias inside computers will be getting the high quality flash or as a memory stick will be getting the lowest quality one and usually companies like Samsung who actually make flash sell off the worst chips to other companies and keep the better ones for themselves. So when you are looking for an actual USB drive try and grab something from Samsung or Micron as those are one of the two biggest flash manufacturers here in 2018 but also to look at other companies that have built up a good reputation for delivering really good memory sticks and also to partnering up with a lot of good quality manufacturers like again Micron 
Micron and Samsung is another really great option. Now don't get me wrong though, when you are buying a flash drive, there's always still a chance that you could be buying a dud, so it unfortunately just is a bit of a luck of a draw as to whether you get a really great unit or a bit of a lemon. But all in all, grab yourself a good quality flash drive that isn't too flashy is a really good option. And hitting it up in number five, we also do have some tracking software. Now recently we did a video right here about Prey and it was a really awesome service, or rather still is a really awesome service. Now yes, we all don't like being tracked with Windows 10 doing a whole bunch of data collection and all that kind of really bad stuff. A lot of us don't want our laptops and tablets tracked, but when we are going to school and your laptop, tablet or phone gets stolen, it is definitely something you want to have on your device so you can track it down. And a lot of schools out there have atrocious digital sort of uh, policies when it comes to recovering their devices. And a lot of them will just wave the contract that you signed in your face, say sorry for losing your device and send you on your way. A lot of them just really don't do much when it comes to recovering your device. They might make some sort of attempt to make it look like they're actually doing something, but for a lot of the time, they've got other things to worry about when it comes to running a school. So again, that is where something like Prey definitely comes in. Now we've checked out Prey once again, and I really do love it. It's a free service, but also to allows you to pay for the paid options to get some more advanced features, but the free service is absolutely epic for a free service, offering you enough information to put together a really strong police report, giving you everything from pictures from the webcam to even screenshots of the screen and longitude and latitude positions. It is a really awesome service for basically no money. And again, the best part is it's free unless you do want to take advantage of some more of the higher end modes, which again, we did cover in the video that was linked up there or down below. All in all, Prey does a really good job and for a lot of people out there, whether you want to keep tabs on your phone, laptop or tablet when you are at school or class, it is really, really something that I do like. And not to mention, if you are a little bit worried about the whole tracking and privacy and stuff like that, even on their homepage, uh, they actually allow you to see the source code. So when it comes to Prey, they are fully open and working with the community to make sure their software is not only, well, allowing you to track your device, but also to not sending back data when it shouldn't be doing it. So for me, Prey is a really cool service. And our final little thing is a bit of a bonus one, and that is get yourself a free copy of Office. We all love getting things for free, and if you are a student and have an education email, or have managed to sign up for an education email, you can get yourself a free copy of Microsoft Office. Simply jump over to the buy page of Office 365, jump over to the student section, fill out your email address and your name, and in less than five minutes, boom, you have a full copy of Microsoft Office, as well as free OneDrive storage. Really, really awesome. And and just about any education email address will activate this and it is a really cool service. No need to pay for anything as long as you are a student with that education email address, you get yourself a free copy of Office for use on your laptop, tablet, phone, or really anything out there. And also too, you get access to their web interface as well. So. Microsoft Office is definitely free for students out there. And when it comes to the price of it, it can be relatively expensive if you are buying it, starting at about $100 per year for the latest version, and saving that kind of money can be a bit of a big deal, especially if you are on a student budget. But there we go, five things plus an extra fee that can definitely get you up and running in terms of tech here in 2018. As I did mention, these things that we did talk about here today are linked down in that description box if you do wanna go ahead and pick them up, or if you wanna go ahead and get your free copy of Microsoft Office. I've also to left that link down below. Otherwise, guys, if you are a student headed back to school, university, college, TAFE, or whatever you are going back to, let me know down in that comment sections what you would also to pick up for your 2018 year. Once again, thanks all for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next one.